looking at today? Okay, Mike. Oh my God, not okay, Mike. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Mike takes a lot of explaining. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you can see, um, okay, Mike was made, and I believe it was, uh, and none of them are dated. I'm pretty sure it was 1975 or 1976 by a company called Ferga, and Ferga is an Italian company, so these were sold in Italy, and they were manufactured in Taiwan. So manufactured in Taiwan, sold in Italy, and ended up here somehow. OK Mike by Ferga, and there's, a, there's an interesting reason why it's called OK Mike, and we'll get into that here in a minute. Now with a few exceptions, like for example this piece right here, Almost everything else that was made by OK Mike is copied from the mold from the Kenner Boy Scouts. Like if you, if I grab a piece from the Boy Scouts down here, because I've got the Kenner Scouts, and I put it up next to OK Mike, oh look, it's the exact same thing. Even the packaging is really similar is OK Mike or Ferga had the rights from Kenner to reproduce a lot of the pieces. That's why the box styles and even the layout is very similar to a lot of the stuff that you see from Steve Scout. I could show you another example here if I pull this up. Take out this uh, warning from Thunderhead Rate, uh, Weather Station and I put it next to the OK Mike copy here. The box is the same, the contents are the same, but there's no more scouts. We've replaced them with uh, OK Mike. And this is by no means complete. There are a lot of additional sets that OK Mike produced, that Ferger produced for that line, that I do not have. Uh, as I said, they made a bunch of stuff that was direct copies of the Kenner Scouts, but they also made other pieces like this uh, extension bridge that were not part of the Scout line. Now, OK Mike here is like this big doofy <laughs> figure, and this box is terrible, but all of these are actually rather hard to get rather hard to get especially in the states and they essentially just have the two figures you get one guy and it's the same mold they just changed his hair color and changed his jumpsuit so one guy is in the blue suit and one guy's in the red suit and I guess they go on these oddball adventures and there's another company oh what is the name of it this was also done with permission from Kenner in Germany, mm -hmm. but the boxes are all green instead of orange. Okay. And they call it something else. I forget what the name is, but there, it's a German version of this as well, and it's essentially the same stuff again. They made a, a new body, and he's called OK Mike because the accessories are all designed to be handled by the scouts. So they had that they changed the body mold, but then plugged in a traditional scout figure's hands and feet into this figure. And I'll show you here. Here's uh, Bill Scout, loose. You see how his hands are. He's got one hand in the scout salute. Even though OK goes like that, I guess this is close enough. That's mm -hmm. why he's called OK Mike, is because of the hand position. Having to take these little dainty little kid hands and feet and put it on this oversized body that they reused because they didn't want to use these molds. <laughs> so why does his hands look like that? Because he's OK Mike, or like that. I know, it's ridiculous, but that's why Ferga did it. That's why they called him that. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, well, what do you want? It's bizarre. It's bizarre. It's a weird action figure series. 
again, 1975, 1976. There's no specific date on anything. And they just reproduced what Kenner did with the, with the scouts for the backgrounds, which is like we saw with the Mark Safari, I guess original or old school action figure photography rather than paying somebody to do artwork. 